Hey, what's up guys? Mash on you here, come back with a brand new video if you guys know. A couple days ago, I talked about Stockholm, Antwerp. A couple weeks ago, I talked about everything Paris, and today we're getting specific with Paris, talking about inside of each specific capsule, starting off here with actually the sale. Now, we don't know exactly when the sale is going to be, but I first up straight gotta say, you're not going to be investing into any of these capsules before the sale comes out, and even when the sale does come out, you're gonna have more than enough time to do so, and I wanna get that through your mind right away, because we're not picking up anything specifically today, and we'll talk a little bit more after a quick word from today's sponsor. Are you looking to grab some of those great looking CS2 skins but don't want to spend a ton of money on Steam Tax selling off your current ones? Well, you don't have to with today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a trading website that's currently offering you $5 free if you use code Master Shiny or an additional 35% bonus on new deposits with the code Master Shiny. All you have to do is pick out the skins you no longer want, pick out the skins you do want, and send that trade. And if you don't have any skins, don't worry. They're giving away hundreds of dollars worth of skins all the time. Now, the first area I want to hit on is souvenir packages. We really haven't talked about it so far. The first one I want to talk about is what happens if a map is removed. Now, obviously, we can look back at Dust2 and say now that they have been a great investment, but there is definitely some things that go along with that to say if we see a certain package removed, it is not a guarantee that it's going to go up in price significantly. We can look at the 2019 Vertigo collection from Berlin. This was actually removed and I picked up a package a while ago, but it really hasn't seen too much growth, and that's because it came from a generally undesirable collection. I mean, there was just a few skins inside this collection, and therefore, I say that because if we see something like the Overpass Souvenir package, packages removed, I can't say for certain that we would see a massive amount of growth, and considering when we're looking at the overall souvenir package dynamic at this point, considering it does not have a covert, that's a very strong possibility, at least at this point, so I do want to make you a little bit hesitant of that. Otherwise, the other option is say we just keep our current map pool. Now, there's definitely some winners and losers when it comes to this. In my opinion, you're probably not going to be in the best position if you're picking up Nuke, Inferno, or Overpass unless they potentially get removed. This is just because we can look at the past trends of these ones and they're always the cheapest even though they do have low quantity listed on the market and you could potentially try and relate that over into being under invested they're not going to be worth really much unless we see them removed now there's a couple things when it comes to souvenir packages the first of which is demand falls off extremely hard if we want to look at past souvenir packages at this point you can see that there's not a ton of demand for them and especially considering when most of these get re-released you can see a massive drop off in the price for so many of them i want to make that very clear because this is one specific investment where you need to know the market you're playing and the souvenir market is one that is extremely volatile when we're coming up on majors now that's working to your advantage here because we're not going to see a major for the next 10 months but it's something that you do need to realize that you're going into that market now specifically what souvenir package would i pick up i'm not personally picking up any other than the coins i've gotten from paris at this point just because i do still think that it's a very steep price point of three dollars to get into but i would say at this point i would probably be leaning towards the anubis package that's just because it's a little bit of a wild card compared to the rest of them. We've seen the other ones time and time again, and like we mentioned, unless one gets removed, the Anubis is where I have a lot of interest in this area. Even though it's got the $2 package, I'm not too worried about that at this point because it's a little bit of a different dynamic. Now, talking about capsules specifically, I'm going to exclude one capsule right now. That's the Champions capsule. It needs time to develop, and although these other ones are still definitely premature in what we're looking at here, we can somewhat get an idea of where they're sitting at. Champions just way too early at this point. I'm not going to be looking at the champions until we reach that sale point, but diving on into these capsules. First capsule I want to talk about is the Challengers capsule. Now this one, in my opinion, I'm a little bit nervous about, and that's because it's got a lot to lose. If we want to look at the total value inside this capsule, 32% is coming from either the glitter or the paper version of the sticker, and when we look at general trends from the past, these are the two areas that tend to drop significantly more than the other two areas. That's just because obviously they're unboxed so much more often, and especially considering the Monty stickers are the ones that are pumping this up a little bit or holding it at this elevated price point in that area. It's just not exactly what I would want to see, but I do definitely think there's a lot of potential in this area. We've got a lot of good looking hollows. In fact, this is the one that total has the most value inside of its overall capsule in the hollow format. It's got a really well balanced area of hollows coming the cheapest at fours at around $2.50 when I'm recording this, which is significantly higher 
higher than any of the other capsules. And going from the best to the worst in terms of value held inside of the hollows, the next one I want to talk about is the Contenders capsule. Now, I'll be completely honest, this is the one I kind of had an eye on the whole time. This is because inside of these capsules, I see a lot of potential, but specifically inside of the Contenders capsule, when I'm looking at the hollows, I do see a very well balanced amount of hollows that have a potential for a large run. This is such as your Maus, honestly, your Face Clan and Team Liquid, even though they're popular teams and have a ton of stickers, I still think they look quite desirable in this state. But specifically, you've got Fluxo and Greyhound, which don't really have a comparable sticker at this level. Obviously, Fluxo doesn't have any other sticker. Both of these hollows are ones we haven't seen in the past. Then you've got the Maus repeated. Obviously, it's going to garner a lot of interest, which is almost turning me off a little bit from this capsule because that does have the potential to have a lot of people interested in this area. But this is one when you're looking at specifically the hollows, I do definitely like. Now, it's got its downsides as well. Talking about Ents and Mongols, both of these are extremely disappointing. Ents is, I believe, the second lowest hollow sticker overall. It really depends on when you're looking. Both this and BNE are sitting at like roughly the same price, but it's definitely one that I do see a lot of potential, especially if one of these stickers starts to pick up in the future. It's going to be interesting once the sale rolls around to see how hard these stickers are hit because this one does contain the most expensive hollow at this point, being that Mao's hollow. Now, talking about the last sticker capsule specifically, we've got the Legend sticker capsule. This one is definitely a mixed bag for me as well. If we want to look at the total value held in the hollow, it's about middle of the pack for these three capsules. The problem with this one is it has the Vitality hollow and obviously the entire Vitality lineup inside of it for stickers, which is a little bit concerning considering that we don't know exactly what price point these are going to keep, especially once the sale rolls around. It's very possible these are inflated at this time, which is one of the negative aspects when we're talking about analyzing capsules before the sale. Now, in my opinion, I think there's definitely a lot of potential in this area. We've got a decent amount of unique stickers that don't have a comparable replacement. Obviously, you got your nine, you've got heroic, you've got into the breach, and you've also got fanatic, which hasn't seen a borderless sticker since Cattle 14 because they weren't in Antwerp or Stockholm. As with this area, I'm really excited, but at the same time, I'm quite nervous as if we want to look at the Vitality sticker, it's either the first or second most expensive in each of the categories. Now, talking about autographs, a lot of people seem to be interested in the Contenders autograph capsule. This is seen as we've got almost 50% of our value coming from our hollows, where if we look in other capsules, it's only 37 and 35%. This is mainly made up of two specific teams, one, all of the phase signatures, and two, all of the mouse signatures. Otherwise, you've got your Legends autograph capsule, which is mainly made up of all of the Zywu signatures. It's number one in all of them, and Simple is number two in all of them. This one is a little bit more, you know what you're going to get, but I can't say there's anything that really jumps out at me at this point for this specific capsule. And then the last one is obviously the Challenges autograph capsule. This one's definitely a bit interesting just because we do have the Gamer Legion autographs in here, and you can see that they are garnering a lot of interest coming in at number two for M all across the board, except in the hollows where it's number three. A lot of interest for Gamer Legion here. However, we don't know if that's going to be sustained, which is something you need to think about if you're looking into investing into the Challengers autograph capsule. But that's all I got. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.